Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotcastology, and today we shall discuss on secrets of your date of birth. So, suppose you are born on second January, nineteen eighty-three. What does this mean? All right. So, this is very interesting um, part of numerology, which you can always use in astrology also. So, many times people they will uh, disassociate the two actually astrology and numerology but that is not how we should behave we should always integrate all of these actually okay so so the two things are very important the day where you are born so suppose you are born on first and if you're born on second or you're born on third or you're born on 10th or 11th okay or you're born on 30th or 31st so that number is important and then the total number is also important. Okay. So, first January 19, whatever, 99, something. So, you add up all of these and then you see what is the number. And uh, generally, there is a contradiction uh, or controversy which number is more important, the date or the total number. Well, in my experience, I have seen both are very important. So, for example, uh, if you are born on first, then uh, sun is important. But if you are, suppose you are born on second and your total number is one, then also sun is important. Okay, moon is also important because it's two. So the, the numbers are like this, you know, sun represents one and two is moon. Then three is Jupiter, four is Rahu, five is Mercury, six is Venus, seven is Ketu. And eight is Saturn, and then nine is Mars. Okay, so this is how it goes. And if you're new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, please go to the website down in the description box. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him. So these two numbers are very important. All right, so calculate. So once you calculate, then you should go to your horoscope. You should check where are these two planets placed. Okay, so suppose you are, as I said, you are born on second of any date uh, and the total number is one, for example. So then you check uh, where is moon and then you check where is sun placed. Okay, two and one, so moon and sun, both. They will give you uh, phenomenal clues about your life purpose and what are the life purpose doesn't mean uh, one specific area of life. It can mean uh, what are the different areas which your life will be surrounded by all the time. Or most of the time basically. Okay, so which sectors will you be working in? And when I say work, I don't mean career. It can be anything, you know. It's like, it can mean your business or within your relationships or anything it can be, okay. So then you, you can also check the month. So the month also is quite important, I have seen. You know? so, so for example, um, if you're born on June, so then uh, Venus is very important to check in the chart because June is number six. So, it doesn't mean that whoever is born in June, they will have good or bad relationships. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, where Venus is, is very important for somebody who is born in the month of June. Now, if Venus is well placed, that will give great happiness because this month's energy uh, is harmonious with the uh, uh, horoscope's energy, okay? the, that planetary energy. But suppose Venus is badly placed or the person who is born in June uh, ha always has trouble in relationships okay? because of some placement in the horoscope or the seventh house because Venus is the Karaka for the seventh house also. So then this can give a lot of suffering to the person. So similarly, March people, March is, you know, number three. So for them, uh, children or gurus or the family tradition is very important or custom. So, so you, you will uh, see sometimes, I have seen, so for example, they say if uh, Guru Chandal Yoga is there, you know, the person um, 
changes his or her religion sometimes. But I have seen it doesn't work many times. But I have seen uh, if the person is born in June and if Jupiter is in the 8th or is in trines to Rahu or conjunct Rahu either ways or um, if uh, Jupiter is the dispositor of Rahu so which means Rahu is either in Sagittarius or Pisces. So even then what happens this yoga becomes very prominent because then Jupiter is very badly uh, under uh, sabotage from Rahu. But now suppose a person who is born in March has a great Jupiter. Great for, great not in general, but for one specific area, okay. So suppose a person has a Jupiter in 10th house. It, maybe it's in Leo or it's in Cancer or uh, it is in Aries or it's in Sagittarius, great placements or any water sign also. So then this can be the best thing to have in the horoscope. So, you will see many placements in astrology and you'll be surprised uh, okay this person has a bad seventh house or a bad venus but why is the person never inquiring about this okay you, you may be surprised i have seen this always during consultations so if you, you if you just use astrology and uh, then you check uh, okay this person has a very difficult marriage or very difficult marriage life astrologically. Not, not that literally that is happening. Now literally also that happens. But what I am telling is if uh, the person does not have six, so which means if the person is not born on uh, either uh, 6th or 15th or 24th, okay, or not born in June, or the person is not born like this, you know, 1966, 1986, 1976, 1956, or 1996. Or the total is not six. If six is no way linked, anyway, if there is no six in the entire birth date or in the total, then I have seen, even though in the horoscope, Venus may be very bad, or the seventh house may be terrible, but this person, uh, is not inquiring much about that area actually. Why? Because that is not in harmony. Because that's not the focus, you understand? Because see, when when we you will get clients for consultations, they they will ask you some specific questions pertaining to certain areas, primarily marriage and career. That's there. But um, why sometimes people with a bad uh, bad. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you will see people with uh, good married lives, uh, even, even though they may have a very de decent, normal career. Nothing great happening there. I, I don't mean to say bad happening, but it's going normal. I mean, nothing extraordinary is happening. But they have a very great married life. So why are they never? You will see they never inquire about their career. They are like, okay, whatever is happening, is happening. It could happen that. Uh, the planet which is in or it can happen like this also so suppose a person has um, an exalted jupiter for example capricorn ascendant in the seventh house okay so then what happens uh, and suppose this person is born in march or third or twelfth or something like so the total is three then what can happen is because this this planetary energy which is represented by the bird date jupiter is exalted and it's in the seventh house. So that is like giving him a lot of happiness and fulfillment. So he's least interested about, you know, career or other stuff. So now for this Venusian example, which I give, somebody is born in Mars, that person may have Venus in the 10th house. And suppose Venus is very badly afflicted okay, by Mars, Saturn, Rao, something. So then this person may not be interested in relationships, but it will be the Venusian aspect of career actually. So then the person may have a lot of troubles from the opposite sex in the workplace. Or the person may not get along with the opposite sex uh, in career. Uh, or the person's boss may be uh, some member of the opposite sex, which may not want that this person comes up. So then the boss may try to sabotage the reputation of this person. Okay. So these kind of things can happen actually. So therefore the date of birth is very 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 crucial so you should check the natural karakatwas and um, then you should check uh, where this planet is sitting 
or not one of them, I mean, uh, these plants. And suppose you see some number is repeating very frequently, then you must check that. So suppose somebody is born in 4th April 1994, then 4 is repeating three times, my God. Very crucial that you check Rahu. And then Rahu becomes like the defining axis of the house. So whenever I do consultations, I always, always, always check this, that what is going on in the birth date because the person is not just randomly born in some birth date. Don't think like this, that, okay, you are born on third, you are born on second, he's born on fourth, she's born on sixth. No, it is not like this. Don't think like this. It is some when people enter birth details, what they do. Oh, okay, tell me your birth details, blah, 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 blah. Okay, done. No, it's not like this. Why Why are you born on first? Why are you born on second? Why are you not born on ninth? Okay, so it's very crucial that you understand every detail is important. Whenever you come to astrology, everything is important. The day is also very important. Day means the vara. So suppose you are born... Uh, you are born on uh, second, for example, okay, or eleventh, or twentieth. But then uh, you are uh, born at eleven a.m. on Tuesday. So because it is after sunrise, so the vara has changed, which is Tuesday is Mars Mangalva. So in that case, Mars, the vara lord, controls the body actually. Okay. So regarding health, you have to check Mars. Mars is well placed, your health can be good, your immunity can be nice. Anyways, this is a different topic, but what I'm telling you, I'm just trying to uh, throw this on you that don't just think you are born on a random date just to get the horoscope. No, every, every detail is very crucial, you know, which month you are born is very important. All right, and you can always see the numbers which you have very frequently in your date of birth. Those those numbers, the months represented by those numbers are very crucial. So suppose you have uh, three many times, like you are born on, uh, you know, suppose, uh, you know, 3rd of March 1993, for example. So then three is repeating three times. Then every year, March becomes very crucial for you. Okay, Don't miss this month. This will define so many things. Mar sorry, March and Jupiter becomes very important. So Jupiter's Antar Dasha, Pratyantar Dasha is very, very, very crucial. Jupiter's Mahadasha is very important. Okay. If you don't get Mahadasha in this life, then you will obviously get Antar Dashas. So then Antar Dashas and Pratyantars are very crucial for you. Okay. So this is how you approach and don't just neglect it and don't just say because uh, this is very important uh, in identifying the life purpose of a person. Okay, so of course you cannot just say life purpose like this, you know. Oh, I'm born on first, so my life purpose is the sun. I should be a king. Well, not like that. It, it could be, but uh, there are so many things to this. You have to check uh, the Lagna chart, then the Navamsha, then you check uh, the Narayan Dasha for this, then you check Vimshottari, then you check uh, Chara Dasha, then you check the Jaimini Karaka. So, it is very funny to see people asking questions in the comments, you know, oh, I have a son in 10th house, what is my life purpose? You, you won't find answers like this for the next thousand years. Yes, sorry to be very bold and uh, it disappoints people when I say like this, but judging life purpose is not like eating some, you know, it's not eating rice and dal, it's not like this. All right. It's very difficult. So you have to combine everything. What I'm trying to tell you today from this video is that whenever you are judging somebody's life purpose, you should always use these principles. Okay. Because they will give you clues regarding which are the most important planets in that person's horoscope. If you do not know that, what kind of an analysis have you done? You're just reading the whole scope. Oh, sun is here, Venus is here, Mars is here, this has happened, that is happened. That's fine. Great. But uh, this, these principles are like the map. Okay. So in the map, what happens? You see different things are there. But there is a goal, there is a direction. What is the Lagnesh saying? What is the sun saying? What is the moon telling? Where is the Lagna Lord place? Where is the Atmakarka place? So you have to combine all this to find uh, life purpose. Okay. And 
it's not a piece of cake like okay i'm born on 10th so sun will show my life purpose no it doesn't sun will show a part of your life purpose okay or sun is sun will be very important when it comes to your life purpose okay so therefore utilize these principles the date of birth and you will come to a very good conclusion all right thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want to see other videos on life purpose here there i'll put it here all right what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you want a consultation you can always go to my website below thank you very much